So today I'm making some caramel apples. You can see I'm starting with these really cute red and green apples, but you can use any kind that you can find in the market. I especially love these little mini ones. They're great for parties. But all I'm gonna do is I have these really fun kind of straws and I'm gonna use these as my lollipop sticks. Just kind of press it right into your apple. Be nice and firm about it. And I just love the way these look, but you can absolutely use wooden skewers or anything else you can find in the store. Just right in there. And then I have my homemade caramel, which is basically just sugar, a little bit of water, a little corn syrup, and heavy cream. And you can see it's nice and thick and ready to dip. And I'm just gonna take my apple and dip it right into my caramel sauce. I don't like to cover too much of the apple, but I do like to give it a nice bottom. So I'm just gonna kind of let any excess drip right off of it. And let's keep this one plain, and then we'll do a couple with some fun toppings. But just kind of get the little excess off the bottom, and then right onto, I like to use a silpat, which is a non-stick baking mat, but you can definitely use a piece of parchment paper, or anything that you have will keep your surface clean. That's always a good idea with caramel. So again, just kind of dip right in there. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna go into some fun toppings. So you have a choice, you can really use anything that you like, but I have some sprinkles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and while my caramel is still nice and warm, just kind of rock into my sprinkles and give it a really cute bottom. It's kind of adorable. Same thing with, I have some graham cracker crumbs, some coconut, anything that you like. This is the time where you can kind of play around. Okay, so let it drip off. And again, I just like to do the bottom of my apple, so I feel like that's really fun. But if you want to dip your entire apple, feel free to go ahead and do that. But these are really cute. Okay, a little coconut. Beautiful. Totally fun. So I'm just gonna let these set up until my caramel is nice and firm, and then I can pop them right off my silpat, and we're ready to serve. So that's how you make homemade caramel apples.